Here we have a high voltage capacitor bank that is set up to crush cans electromagnetically. I also have a primary and secondary coil on top that are not yet hooked up. Uh, that's uh, something for, for a later date. But right now we're going to crush a can. So before we turn it on, I just want you to see the inside. Um, we have our high voltage transformer diode to half wave rectify it to pulse DC high voltage relay relay power circuit with remote switch that you'll see in a minute in the back are the eight capacitors high voltage uh, high resistance resistor to bleed off charge from the capacitors uh, if it's turned off for a while and it doesn't get discharged and a resistor slash indicator lamp uh, for when the circuit is charging which you will also see in a minute here we have the work coil that's going to do the can crushing. Right here we have the remote switch that we're going to activate it with. And so first let me put the can into the coil. Just like that. Now we're going to plug it in. And as soon as it's plugged in the uh, remote is turned on so that the relay jumps in the discharge position but since it hasn't been charging there is nothing to discharge so I can operate the relay independently of the power to the main circuit as long as it's plugged in so let's leave it in the discharge position now let's turn the main power switch on and you can see the bulb starts to glow just a little bit and then <clears throat> Now we're going to flip the switch back into the charging position. And you see the lamp come on. Now what you will also see is the lamp progressively gets dimmer and dimmer as the capacitors charge more and more and more. And when the light gets relatively dim, you know that uh, it's time to fire. So uh, it's sort of um, oversaturating the image here. But as you can see, it's getting a little dimmer and a little dimmer. With my eyes, I can actually see the filament glowing in the light bulb. I think the camera, it just looks like a big glow, but it is actually pretty dim at this point. Let's wait just a few seconds longer, get enough energy in the capacitors to really do some damage to the can. All right, I think we're getting pretty close to a full charge. So pay extra attention to the can. You may also want to watch the spark at the relay at the bottom. Here we go. Three, two, one. Woo. So as you can see, the relay is still in the charging position. Flip the switch, relay jumps back to the, excuse me, it was in the discharge position. Now the relay has jumped back to the charging position. The light comes back on and while that's charging, let's get a close up on the can itself. As you can see, it's already done some damage. I don't want to touch it just yet. I was going to fire it one more time before we pulled the can out and look at it. As you can see, capacitors are taking charge. The bulb is getting dimmer. Dimmer, dimmer, dimmer. Pretty dim at this point. Let's focus in on the can. Here we go. Three, two, one. Ooh. Let's see what that's done to our can. And as you can see, after firing it only twice, the can is uh, pretty well crushed. It was crushing them actually a lot better before when I did not have the light bulb in series with the primary on the high voltage transformer. So I may take that back off, um, but either way, pretty good action.